Hi guys, just a short video, I hope, this time. Got quite a few of these pumps for liquid soap and shampoo and that sort of thing. I used to collect them, I used to have lots of them in a box somewhere. Um, very rarely actually used them. But I'll just show how it works and take it apart. I'll put a link in the video description to a very old video by Thomas Kim making a handy little vacuum pump using a pair of these. Um, let's see if we can just talk about how it works. When you push it down, you're pushing that piston down in the cylinder there, and then when you release it, the liquid is pushed up the pipe and it actually fills that area but then when you push it down again this time what was in there is then squirted out there it goes through the hole in the middle and comes out there because there's a non-return valve at the bottom when i say a non-return valve it's very simple all it is is little um, clear plastic bead that when you when you push it down you're re um, reducing the space there the important bit is when you release it that creates a partial vacuum there so the liquid at this end is pushed up the tube by the air pressure out outside normal air pressure so normal air pressure when you squeeze it push it down the air that was in there is pushed out through there because the valve is sealing it at the bottom when you release it the air comes up because that little spring is released or that little valve is released don't know if i could explain that clearly or not Push it down, the air can't go down there because the ball's in the way, so the air comes out there. Release it, the air is sucked up there because the valve releases. Let's take it apart, then you can probably see better what I mean. This little bit just unclips. So there's our piston with a hole up the middle that goes round the corner and out there. I don't know if I can actually pull that apart, should be able to. Yeah, there we go. I want to see whether there's another little ball in there. Yeah, there's another little ball up in there. I'd have to force it apart to be able to see it. If I blow through it, I can blow through it, but if I try and suck, the little ball seals down. So there's a little captive ball in there that when you try and suck out of this end, the ball goes down and seals it. When you blow, it blows it clear and the air can come out. So that's how that end works as that pushes down into the cylinder there the air is escaping up through there when you pull it up the valve seals it so you by pulling it up you've increased the area there created a partial vacuum and the air pressure at this end pushes the liquid up into the chamber then when you push that down again, the liquid can't escape because the ball at the bottom there is sitting over the hole and that seals it. But pushing it, the liquid can push up through past the ball there that's lifted off its seat and comes out of there. I suppose I could get a little bit of water, couldn't I, just to watch it happen. 
bright. I've even put a bit of coloured um, food colouring in there so we can see it. Uh, might need to come out a bit though. Okay, so push it down. Nothing happens. Lift it up. Water goes into there. We'll just do it another time because not enough came up. There we are. So that's now full of water. When we've got enough in there, it'll actually push out of there. Uh, how can we do this? Move around this side so my hand's not in the way. There's a ball at that end sealing that pipe and a ball in there sealing that pipe. The only way we'll see that ball is if I um, try and jam something in there to get it out. But this one, on this end, there it is. I don't know if I can jam anything in there to get that one out. I doubt it. I think the bicycle spoke will be too big. But we'll try. Oh, it did come out. It's easy as that. There we go. Tiny little ball. So that's the one that's sealing, acting as a valve in there. And that one in there that I've dropped in the water is the one that seals in there. And it's held in place with that spring. So there we go, a liquid soap dispenser pump or also um, shampoo and that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.